Good afternoon, Pio Nation. I hope you are doing well. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Married to College Esports. So today, the Pioneers are back as part of the College League of Legends Teemo Cup, and they'll be playing against Park University. This is a very special match for me. I know Park University's coach uh, very well. She is awesome. So it's really exciting that we get to be able to play against each other finally. Never knew we were going to have an opportunity uh, for this, but it's finally here. Everyone's in the lobby, so we should be getting things started up very soon. So let's take a look at that lineup for our League of Legends team. So in the top lane, we have Senior, Aaron Neem, MC, Lycra Stratiata. In the jungle, we have Kyler Wheeler, Raelic. In the mid lane, we have Sophomore, Leah Wietzerkowski, Muki 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At AD carry, we have Senior, Ian Darling, Brimstone, Bro. And then at support, we have Freshman, Max, uh, Bethany Holstein, Maxibu 101. So the Pioneers are... Kind of building that momentum from some of their past wins. Uh, earlier uh, this week, they played against Lords University as part of the Great Lakes Esports uh, Constellation Bracket. And they did take the Series 2-0. Although the uh, the main uh, boss there was the Disconnect boss, but the Pioneers did hang on to get the 2-0 win. Last Saturday, they had a dominating performance against Barton College. So now we'll see how the Pioneers do against uh, Park University. Uh, whoever wins this will move on to the semifinals in the Teemo Cup. So the way this is set up is there, the only prize for winning the Teemo Cup is, uh, or I think it's Riot Points, if I remember correctly, and it actually goes to the top four teams. So if Marietta wins today, they are guaranteed Riot Points for participating in the Teemo Cup. So we may not be able to win the, the big national championships with scholarships, but hey, it's Riot Points. Let's see if we can go for that. But all right, everyone's having a good time in the lobby. And I don't think we're ready to start just yet. Uh, so while we are waiting for that, uh, not really a whole lot of schedule updates, just because uh, a lot of the GLEC matches, uh, the the, uh, the schedules are a little more fluid. So we'll still have to see like when our Rocket League match with Trine will be. It looks like our Overwatch team will be playing against uh, Mountain Union uh, at some point. And our League of Legends team will be playing against the winner of Muskingum and Defiance. So that game will be decided on Tuesday. So once we know that, then we can get some, get some scheduling figured out. So we don't have a whole lot going on. The only game we know for sure that is coming up is Marietta will be playing against Muskingum University again. Uh, as part of the Concordia tournament. Yeah, so that will be Thursday at 9 o'clock uh, Eastern Time. So you definitely want to check that out. Uh, we are working on some uh, some streaming stuff, so we might have a special broadcast for that. So we will get that information to you uh, once we have it. Uh, we are getting ready checks in the lobby. Um, so we may be starting up this first game really soon. So any additional announcements will, will take care of that after Champion Select. Um yeah, it looks like Marietta is ready. I'm not too sure if Park is ready. They may be uh, getting some things still set up with their stream. They are broadcasting uh, this match as well. So we'll let them make sure that they have everything uh, set up for that. And then we will get this match uh, underway. Yeah, so they're just trying to make sure that their stream is good to go. So no problems there at, at all. We want to make sure we don't uh, jump the gun with... Uh, Let's get the game started up here. So yeah, so once we get this thing going, we will uh, get this underway. This is, as a reminder, this is a best of three series. Uh, Marietta is going to start on the blue side uh, for this, and I will see uh, how that goes. So uh, we know what Marietta likes to kind of do with some of the flex picking. So we'll see how uh, bands are decided just based on the fact that Marietta will be starting on blue side if they try to do any flex picking or if they prio pick something. Uh, in one of their lanes. I know one of the biggest challenges that Marietta will have uh, going up against uh, Park University is Park's AD carry. Uh, current uh, Devil King Risego, that's how you pronounce it. Uh, but uh, they are, uh, he's a Diamond 2 right now, so he's a very good ADC. And we are getting things underway. So let's get over the champ select and let's see who's going to be playing what. We're seeing a Nivea ban by Marietta. Uh, I believe Park's mid laner likes to play Nivea, so they're going to just take Nivea out of the game. 
see how part uh, is I do. They're going to be banning out the Olaf first. Interesting choice. I mean, it's definitely a target to Relic. And Marion is assigned to take out the Ash. I believe Devil King Rysgo has been playing a lot of Ash lately. So knowing how good he is, they do not want him on a champion that he feels very comfortable with. So the Ash is gone. We'll see if Park decides to ban another jungler. Uh, or if they go something else. There's the Hecarim. I expected that Hecarim ban at some point. Relic loves playing the Hecarim. Let's see what Marietta's third ban will be or where that's going to be targeting. The weak fear the shadows. And they're going to ban out the Kane. Interesting choice. Um, I believe the Park Struggler has played a lot of Kane. But I guess they say, well, since you played him a lot, we're just not going to let you play him. And then we'll see what the last ban from Park is. Will be another jungle ban, or will they try to take out? They're going to take out the Seraphine, denying Marietta the opportunity to uh, flex pick the Seraphine. So instead, they're going to flex pick the Tristana. So very interesting choice there. So. Gonna take away the flex fix the seraphine? Fine. We'll go with something else to flex. And it looks like we're gonna be seeing a Shen that could be a top or a support. Haven't seen support Shen in a really long time, so I'm gonna guess it's a top pick. And they're hovering over the Malzahar. This would be very gutsy to blind pick Malzahar. I mean, there's not a ton of counters for Malzahar, but still interesting that they may blind pick that. And sure enough, they do blind pick the Malzahar. So, very interesting choice. Rayleigh's going to go ahead and take the Lilia, it seems like, since there has been a couple of jungle bands his way. So, he's going to go ahead and grab that. He's been really liking the, uh, the Lilia. Well, he hasn't locked it in just yet. There it is. Now it's locked in. And it looks like Lyco's going to be playing the Nara against the Shen in the top lane. He feels very comfortable playing against Shen with that. So now we'll see what uh, Park will do to counter. And it looks like they're going to be playing the Warwick in the jungle. Although it's not locked in just yet. Now it's locked in. So unless that's a Shen support, Pike still needs to pick their ADC and their support. So I would anticipate Marion is going to be focusing on Devil King to try to ban out some of his favorite uh, champions. Meanwhile, Marion still has to pick their support and, well, either their AD or their... Uh, mid and Park's taking out the uh, the Rel, although Maxi hasn't really played Rel, but okay. Senna's gonna be taken out of the game, a uh, pretty strong uh, ADC. And there's the Nautilus uh, being banned. The Maxi has played that uh, a good amount. And Kai's is going to be taken out, so another target at the ADC. I'm going to guess Park will pick their support next because they want to try to save their AD pick for last. Oh, never mind. They're going to go ahead and blind pick the Jinx. Okay. Interesting choice here. I figured they would save it for last, but I guess not. So now it's just a matter of what are we going to play at support and where is Tristana going? I mean, we definitely can go with something like a Leona. Um, Maxi does like playing Leona. Ah, there we go. There's the Leona. It's like I'm a mind reader or something. So now the real question is... Where is the Tristana going? Is the Tristana going up against the Jinx or is it going up against the Malzahar? Very 
here. They're still deciding here. There's this so much suspense. And it's go oh, okay. So it's going to be an AD Varus with an AP Tristana in mid. So Brimstone's like, you're going to play Jinx? I want to play Varus into that. Okay. And then we see the Lulu coming out support uh, for Park University. But yeah, this is very interesting composition here. Um, so just a quick analysis here. Like overall, Marietta's composition I think is pretty good. They got some front liners. They got some really nice back range with the, the Vars and Tristana. Just putting out tons of damage. Uh, and then Relic should be able to set up plays with Lilia getting the sleep off. So yeah, this... Now, it, it does need to be an AP Tristana. If it's an AD Tristana mid, then that does mean that Pike... Uh, not Pike, but uh, Park. Sorry. Uh, Park would have to... Could stack some armor and be able to counter that. Meanwhile, with Park's composition, they do have one frontliner with the Shen. Not as tanky, uh, but they do have some good engage with the Warwick, hyper carry with the Jinx. So I think this is kind of like a protect the Jinx composition with the Lulu and the Shen. So if they're able to protect the Jinx, then they should be in pretty good shape. But if Marietta can get the damage onto the Jinx, be able to get the engages, the stuns, and lock her down, then Marietta should be able to uh, secure the... Uh, this first game. Uh, Alright, so while we are waiting for uh, the spectator delay to finish up, uh, just as a reminder, uh, we are always looking for players for our esports program. So, uh, if you are a Marietta College student and you are interested in being a part of our program, please be sure to get a hold of me because we would love to talk to you about uh, where what teams you like to be in because right now we have League of Legends, Overwatch, Rocket League, and Rainbow Six Siege, and we are in discussions about maybe adding a couple new teams in the fall. Uh, there's discussions about adding Hearthstone. There's been discussions about adding Valorant, adding uh, FIFA, and if there's a game that we don't have that you're thinking about wanting to start, we would love to hear about. It. That's how we got our Rainbow Six team up and running. That's how we got our Rocket League team up and running. It started off because of student interest. So if there's a game you want to uh, look into, we can see if there's a collegiate esports presence for it, and we can uh, try to get something started up for the fall semester. Now, if you are a high school senior, well, we do still have some scholarships available, but time is running out. Next Saturday, April 10th, is our last official date for uh, doing esports scholarship tryouts. So if you're interested in that, there are three steps. First, you need to fill out our recruitment form at bit.ly slash mcrecruit. The second step would be to, to start the application process to apply for admission. So you can go to marietta.edu to apply. Then, to actually try out for the, the scholarship, you got to schedule that. So you go to bit.ly slash mcesporttryout and fill out the form there. You don't have to be accepted for admission to try out, but you will not receive an award until you have been accepted uh, for admission. So the links are up on your screen right now. The QR codes are up on the screen right now. So you can uh, screenshot if you want to. I think one of our earlier broadcasts, someone did clip it uh, from one of our other uh, matches. So you can uh, use the clip to get the links as well. But, um, but yeah, definitely want to set up a scholarship trial for that because uh, after next Saturday, we, we'll still do some individual uh, tryouts, but we're going to get to the point where we say, sorry, we're, we're running out of uh, scholarships, so we can't uh, give you anything. So we would love to be able to give you a, a scholarship if you are interested in uh, playing. But, all right. Uh, things are getting loaded up, so just need to get uh, everything here set up with the, the game. So once we get the, the UI and everything set up, we will be underway, so just... A couple more seconds, and then we will be good to go. Everything's loading up. Good. 
Still waiting for the game to load. Okay, there it is. Let me get here. Let me get the audio set up. And all right, we are underway. Let's get this game going. Marion and College versus Park University. Marion is on the blue side. Park will be on the red side. It does not look like we're going to see any invades going on in here. The simple line of scrimmage just kind of waiting out. 30 seconds until minions spawn. The Relic went back to get something. I don't know if there are any caution pings or. I think Relic is going to be. Going for maybe his red buff first. Uh, Pixel Brush has been warded in the top river by Goon. Minions have spawned. Relic and Lyco are trying to see if Warwick would be coming up there, but he's already got the ward down. And I think they're going to try to go for a late invade into the Raptors. And they're going to catch the uh, the ward there. Caution pings are coming out. Park is aware that something happened there. Interesting is Goon is going straight for the Scuttle Crab. Well, it's not even up yet, so it can't quite do that. So it's gonna go for his Gromp instead. Now Red will rotate down to his red buff. Tristan's getting a lot of damage onto that Malzahar already at less than half health. And Double King does hit level two first. And they are advancing forward to try to make the level 2 play, but they, instead they will zone out Brimstone and Maxi. Yeah, caution things are coming out. It looks like Warwick may be looking at a gank contempt in the mid lane. It is not warded for Muki, so she's going to have to be careful. But she is going to fall back a little bit. But she will leap away. I mean, it's Tristana. I'm not going to get much from that gank contempt. Meanwhile, Lyco is pushing the top lane very hard. Doubling the CS that Xerox has right now. And so far, Brimstone actually has the CS lead over uh, Devil King. Now we're seeing some training going to the top lane. Lyco does take some damage, but he's healing himself up. He had a, a potion ready. Relic is looking to get a gank onto Bakarina and has to flash away. And here comes Goon. And Lyco just barely gets away, leaps away and flashes and is able to survive the uh, the onslaught there by Goon. The so flashes are traded by both sides. But great job by Lyco to stay alive and deny the first blood for Park. Now they still could get it, but at least it won't happen just yet. Lane's all hitting level four. But so far, Brimstone is holding very well against Devil King. Up by just a little bit of CS. 
Feral Dragon is warded in Marietta's favor, but though we won't see any dragon attempts just yet. Here's some things coming out, but I think it's just Red like working on his uh, Krugs. Yuki getting deep into uh, Park's jungle. At least try to get a ward there to get some more information about where Goon is going to be rotating around. And now we may be seeing a gank contempt by Relic. There is no vision for Devil King and, and Rarko. Tries to make a play, nothing happens, so he's going to rotate up to the mid lane. But he may start up. Is he going to start the Infernal Drake? No, I think he's just going to take Scuttle Crab. Never mind, they're actually going to go for the dragon now. They do have vision control over the, uh, the river there. Marietta will start the Infernal Drake, and I don't think Park is aware of this. And Marietta does secure the Infernal Drake. And Raelic is going to go do a, like, try to invade a little bit, see if he can find where Warwick is not. He's going to see that Warwick is not in the, uh, the blue jungle. I think he's going to try to steal the blue buff, maybe? And he does take it away. So right now, we're, we're about seven and a half minutes into the game. And Marion has a slight goal lead, about two to three hundred gold. And that's just CS differentials right now. Uh, so far, Brimstone is slightly ahead. Yuki is doing pretty well against Macarena. Uh, Lyco's slightly behind, but not by much. And Relic has a slight lead. And we see Yuki trying to get the leap and jump onto Macarena. Get some damage in. Warwick is not too far behind. So they could be looking for an attempt there, but I don't think it's going to happen. There's like several from uh, Parker going to be backing away, so this gives Mary a chance to try to get some farm. The lane's some of the lanes have been pushed in Park's favor. So Mary is going to try to clean that up. This is actually going to give Lyco a chance to get caught up on CS. So now he is breaking even. And we're going to get a slight lead. Seen Double King and Rock are going to be rotating up. They'll take the skull crab, but they're going to find out all oh, that dragon is on. But Park will take the uh, the skull crab as a consolation prize. But now the vision is in Park's favor. And there are three wards in the bottom jungle for Park. There he does have one control ward. And the flash is going to be used by Macarena, but he's going to be leaping in. The sleep does go off, but so does this, the uh, Shen shield. He ports in, and Warwick is there to help as well. So an alt for alt trade. And Relic and Macarena pop flash. But no one does go, no one goes down just yet. The 
Yuki is putting a ton of damage onto Macarena. Barely gets by. Daiko's getting the stun onto Shen, but Shen is getting very tanky. But this is going to give Yuki a chance to get some uh, turret plating, but Warwick is right there. She's so got to be very careful, but she's still got her leap, so not too worried. So Nike is getting very low in health. He does have his flash if he needs to. I'm going to try to slowly re-engage. And he's got to be careful. Warwick is not too far behind. Pialti does get the slow onto Jinx. Greylix is going to try to get this, try to slow him down. Ulti comes out for, for Lulu to keep Jinx up. Greylix is very low in health. Has to back away. And just another trades of ultimates from everyone, but no one's dead yet. Now, Marietta is starting to take a lead. They do have about an 8 to 900 gold lead 11 and a half minutes into the game. And right now, that's just basically CS. Because no one's died. Now, Warwick is working on the Rift Hero. Lyco's aware of this. He's going to try to go over there to contest. Teleport is coming in for Shen. Beganar comes out, gets a huge ulti, but there's Muki. And there's first blood that will go to Marietta. But Malzahar is there popping the ulti there to slow down Muki. But here comes Raelic. Shen does get Lyco down, but Shen's gonna fall, and Raelic is gonna give have Makri take a nap. Lulu does take down Muki. But Macarena ends up falling, so it's a 3 for 2 right now in Marietta's favor. But Max is trying to get the re-engage onto Lulu. Raelic is very low in health. No one gets the Rift Herald, but yeah, 3 kills to 2. Cloud Drake is up, so we'll see who decides to go for it first. Things are coming out. Marietta may be uh, taking a look at it, although they don't have any teleports already. Malzahar still has uh, his teleport. Marietta is trying to get some vision control over by the Dragon Pit. Shen's getting very tanky for Lyco. Not being able to do a whole lot of damage. And here goes Warwick popping the ulti. Grenades come out to try to stun Maxi or stun Brimstone, but it does not uh, take effect. He's able to flash away in time. And that might give Park's opportunity to go for the Cloud Drake. We do see Warwick and Lulu uh, hovering around there. Brimstone has to back out, and so does Maxi. So I think Park will be able to secure if he Cloud Drake. That looks like we'll get Ocean Drakes for the remainder of this game. He's trying to get some damage onto Macarena. So was trying to catch and it actually delays their back but here comes Warwick trying to chase y uh, Yuki but Yuki's gonna leap away Warwick does not have his ulti ready to go and the sleep is gonna go off Warwick may be in trouble and Yuki is able to take down Warwick meanwhile Brimstone is able to take down Rarko that's two kills for nothing now Mary is going to try to put some pressure onto that bottom tower. Turret lane has fallen at this point. But Devil King is trying to get some damage onto Brimstone, pushing him away.
pops the rocket, and Brimstone takes a ton of damage from that. He's not dead yet, though, but he's going to have to be careful. I don't think he doesn't have any regen either. It looks like we are going to see an AD Tristana from Yuki. So one thing Verde is going to have to be careful is Harkin just stacks some armor because well, I mean Lilia can do some AP, but but that's about it. Now we may be seeing a gank in the uh, the bot tower. Relic is there to contest the uh, the tower, and Yuki may be rotating around as well. He was just hoping to try to catch Warwick as he left the jungle, but not going to get him. We're now about 16 and a half minutes into the game. Marietta is up by about 2,500 gold at this point. So a, a, a decent lead. It's not. I mean, one team I can turn it all around though. So Reiko, Reiko is trying to create some damage onto Xerix, but here comes Warwick already leaping away. Pops Net Meganar. Gonna have to be a little careful. Cohen knows that Warwick is still around. And he's gonna get taunted, but meanwhile, bot lane's gonna get engaged onto Devil King. Has to pop flat. Both bot lanes have to pop flashes. Lyco's almost dead. And uh, does end up going down, but lets the turret able to get the killing blow. So it's a one for one trade in the top lane. Meanwhile, we do see the engage into the bot lane trying to zone out Devil King. Force the Double King and Rarko to pop flashes. The sleep does go off onto Rarko, but no follow up from it except getting severely poked. Has to pop the ulti to stay alive. Chains are going to come out, and Shen's going to be ulting in. And Max is going to get to re engage, and Shen's going to go down. The stun's going to go off onto Double King, so that's another kill for Marietta by Brimstone. So that does expand Marietta's goalie. They even secure the first turret. So now they're up by almost 4,000. It's kind of like about set the 3,700 gold at this point. And clap and uh, oh sorry, Ocean Drake's gonna be up in 25 seconds. So I would think Marietta is gonna try to get ready for that. Uh, everyone has backed out. They are uh, buying some stuff. We see mythic items coming online, or the pioneers have mythic items. Initially, we are seeing relic shield uh, agents of the legion coming out for both Warwick and uh, Shen. That's what I thought about before. Knowing that both of the carries for Marietta are AD, they're going to be stacking some armor to try to reduce the damage they take. Now Marietta's heading over uh, to the Ocean Drake. And I think they're just going to start it right up. They have wards in all the entrances. So if Hart comes by, they're going to be aware of it. And this is going to be a free Ocean Drake for Marietta. And we're going to see the lane swap. Uh, Brimstone Max is going to be rotating to the mid lane to, to see if they can push that mid tower. Ben's going to try to get the taunt and engage onto Lyco. Lyco's going to get out and try to poke some damage himself. And the sleep is going to go off. Two people slept. Raylix is going to take turret hits. He doesn't care. 
Brimstone takes down one. Maxi takes out the other. A very aggressive play by Marietta, and it does pay off. Not only do they get two kills, but they will secure the mid tower. Now, Miyuki's going to be rotating up to help with pushing that mid lane. And meanwhile, Lyko's able to win his lane and get the tower down there. So Marietta has three towers down. And they're going to keep pushing that mid inner tower. And Marietta secures it. So went from like only one tower to four in just a matter of seconds. And Marietta's taking a huge lead here. Already up by... Looks like... Six and six point five K gold, if my math is correct. So they've taken a commanding lead at twenty one minutes in this game. Now Mary is going to try to establish some vision, especially around the Baron Pit. But gotta get kudos to Park for being able to keep some vision in their jungle. They are behind, but they have so many wards in their red jungle. So Marietta does try to rotate around there. Park, uh, look at four. three regular wards, two control wards, and now they're getting some vision into their blue jungle. So they know how to reestablish vision in their jungle. So kudos to their coach for that. see some pings going into Park's blue jungle. Marietta is going to be trying to advance through there. They're going to catch a couple of wards. So Pike's uh, Park is going to... Why am I saying Pike? I guess I'm used to the champion Pike. But yeah, Park's going to be aware of it. But Marietta is actually going to reestablish some vision uh, in Park's blue jungle. And meanwhile, uh, Raelic and Yuki are trying to put a little bit of pressure onto that bot tower. Uh, Macarena is there, though, to contest. Yeah, they get to about half health. Things are coming out. Park knows that most of Marietta is in that bot lane, so they're saying, be careful. They're... They're trying to push. They're trying to contest. And I think Marietta will be able to get this tower. There it goes. at about 24 minutes uh, into the game and Marietta is up by about 7.5k gold that is a substantial lead at this point so can Marietta use this lead to expand the lead further they're heading for the ocean drake it's going to be up in about 12 seconds they have the blue jungle heavily warded so they know where park is going to be coming in if park tries to uh, get the engage See the big rocket coming out. It hits the dragon, but no, not the rest of the team. And Marietta does secure their second Ocean Soul. And it looks like Marietta's going to rotate over to the mid lane. Or are they going to hit the Baron? I think they're at least going to get some Baron vision. Uh, but they may try to start with Baron. It, it seems like um, Ark doesn't want a team fight, but. 
Marietta maybe looking for the bait. They rotate over the Baron, so maybe Park is thinking that Marietta's going to go for it. And there's some caution pings coming out. It's almost like they know exactly where Marietta is. Polymorph does come out for Rayleigh. And you see Rocco has the flash and pop guilty. Stun goes off, and Maxi does get the kill. So that's one down for Park. And now Marietta's going to go for Baron. The respect that Park has having to pop the ulti and the flash when Rayla gets nearby. Rocket does come out and it was a good attempt. Mariana does secure the Baron. And that was actually pretty close. If uh, Brimstone was not right where uh, where he's at, then, or it might have been Maxi. Devil King might have stolen the Baron with a big rocket. Yeah, so Marion has got the Baron buff. They have a huge lead. They got like an eight point something K gold lead. So now they're gonna try to split push in all three lanes. But yeah, Brimstone is having a really good game with the Vars. 303, 225 CS. All right, let's just take a look at uh, gold difference without Brimstone. Has 10,400 gold. And it's substantial compared to Double King, which only has about 8,200 gold. You know, Relic's got about 9,600 gold versus Warwick's 7,400. Yuki's got 9,100 gold compared to 7,900 for Macarena. Yeah, so right now Merida's just doing well overall. Lyco is going to have to try to get away. Going to flash through. And Warwick tried to flash through, but it does not work. Did not get the right lineup to the Flash to continue to engage, and Lyco is going to be able to get away. Another turret falls with Marilyn and Yuki being able to take out the bottom inhibitor tower, and they do secure the bottom inhibitor. And meanwhile, Brimstone and uh, Yuki, I'm sorry, Maxi, are going to get that mid inhibitor tower, and now they're going to be able to get that mid inhibitor as well. So with two inhibitors down, Marilyn is going to continue their push with the Baron buff. Chains are going to be going out, but it does get dispelled. Shen's going to be popping the shield. It actually gets interrupted. No, never mind. He does get teleported over there. Maxi does get ulted by Malzahar. And I think it took a, like a turret shot or so, but Marietta does survive using that Baron buff and double Ocean Soul. Meanwhile, Black is going to continue to push in the top lane, see if they get the final inhibitor tower and last inhibitor. The first Nexus tower is almost down with those Baron power canyon mains, and there it goes. Marietta is looking to get the second one down, just zoning Park away. But now with that third inhibitor tower down, Marietta's going to try to secure that third inhibitor. And with all three inhibitors down and super minions coming in, it is going to be really hard for Park to come back for this. But Marietta knows they're getting a little bit low on health. They're going to back away. They got a huge gold lead from all that. So they're going to go buy up and maybe go for another dragon or maybe try to push the uh, finish the game. But yeah, so with that, Maria has exploded their lead. Because they're over 10,500 gold ahead at 29 minutes. And it looks like Marietta's is going to go straight for the Ocean Drake. Uh, it is up in 25 seconds, so I think they're just going to take that. Baron buff has expired at this point, but yeah, they'll take the Ocean Drake, and then they'll try to close out the game. Ocean Drake. Meanwhile, Relic is kind of continuing to, to push some lanes here. And there's the third Ocean, Ocean Soul for Marietta. So now they're going to use the Super Minions to try to push through and see if they can close out this game.
We see Barrier trying to get the engage onto Park. Chains are coming out, stuns are coming out. The Dexter's turret does fall, and Park is trying to re-engage, but Marietta does take out the Warwick, and Shen has fallen. But they're just going to let the Super Minions take out the rest of the Nexus Tower. There goes the Nexus, and Marietta will secure Game 1 in this Best of 3 series. So congratulations to the Pioneers uh, on their win. Overall, it was just a, a very strong performance. Uh, just being able to win their lanes. They got the engages they needed. There were, I mean, 13 kills to, to 3. I mean, it wasn't a whole lot of kills this game early on. But once they got that lead, they were able to maintain it uh, for the, the rest of the game. But, all right. So let me get uh, things set up in the, get to the lobby for game 2. I'm sure they are waiting for me. So I'm going to head over there. But yeah, Mary is already uh, in the lobby. And I think we're just waiting for, for Park to come in. So I think what we'll do while we are waiting, we'll take a small break. Uh, it may be a 30 second break, it may be a two minute break, but we'll just go. Oh, never mind, never mind. Park is getting back in here. I was going to take a break, but. Uh, Park is getting in there, so uh, yeah, the yeah, Devil King's in the lobby, so we should probably be getting the uh, the next game set up very soon. And it looks like Park is going to be uh, on the blue side this time, so Marionette will take red side. So we'll get things set up, so no, we will not take that break. So the question is, be what adjustments will we make? I don't think Marietta will. I think they'll keep the same bands from game one. But it's just a matter of what does Park want to ban in game two. They they focus some bands on Relic, but it's like, okay, do you take out the Varus? Do you take out the Nar? Do you take out the the Lilia? But when you take if you ban any of those initially, then that's going to free up some of the other bands. So that may allow Relic to play like Hecarim, for instance, or Olaf. Okay, so it looks like everyone is in the lobby. It's just a matter of getting things set up. Make sure I have everything ready on my part for when the champion, champ select begins. Actually, I think we're still waiting for um parks streamer yeah park streamer is not in just yet yeah so once yeah so once park streamer gets in then we will get this game underway so it'll probably just be a minute i don't want to go to a break just in case they start up really quickly because i thought we were gonna have a have some time but i was a little mistaken Almost set up here. You know, we'll go ahead and take a small break. It may be like a 10 second break, but we'll go ahead and take that break while we're waiting. So we'll be back in just a minute.
All right, and welcome back. Uh, looks like everyone is in the lobby, so we should be getting uh, game two ready in just a second. In fact, ready checks are going out. This Marriott is ready, so once Park is ready, then we will get this game underway. Or at least champions left, then we'll get the game underway. Yeah, looks like everyone is ready, so we are about to start. Right? About now. All right, so let's see what adjustments Park will be making uh, in game two. What will they be banning out? And will Marianna make any adjustments to their strategy as well? So they're going to take out that Tristana. They did not like Muki playing the Tristana. The Anivia is still going to be banned by Marietta. I, I would ex I'm expecting the same bans from Marietta. But you never know. The park is taking their time with these bans. They want to make sure that they're uh, very careful with what they ban. Because... Now that they banned Tristana, some of the bans that they made before. So there's the Lilia ban. So that's two new bans. So the three bans that Park had in game one, at least two of them are going to be available. And Mary is still going to take out the Ash. They don't want Double King playing it. But now, what will Park ban? And what will now be open for Marietta? Those those Olaf, Hecarim, and Falcon. They take out the Olaf. So Hecarim is now available. Okay. And well, Marina's is going to take out the Seraphine. Seraphine was banned in game one. And Marina's is like, you want to do the flex pick with the Seraphine? No, not happening. But still, one of one of the that means Hecarim is up. So if Raylik wants to take it, he can grab it. And it looks like. Park is going to be going with the Gnar first. They want that Gnar in the top lane. So will Marietta grab that Hecarim since it is available? Yes, they will, folks! The Hecarim has returned. It has been banned in so many games. And, and since Park let it open, Rayla's like, yeah, I'm playing him. Okay. But now what will Mary decide to go with next? Uh, looks like they're going to play the Orn into the Gnar in top lane. And I believe Lyco feels very comfortable uh, with that matchup. And we'll see what uh, Park decides to go with next. Will they try to private pick their bot lane? Will they try to do like jungle support? And I see a Zaya. Are we going to see a Rakan in the bottom lane to go with that? If they don't pick Rakan, then I would expect Rakan to be banned by Marietta in the, the next ban phase. And no, they're going to go with a Karma at support instead. I think Karma still is good. It looks like Brimstone wants to play the Jinx into the, the Zaya this time. Brimstone's getting to play a whole variety of ABCs lately. The weak fear the shadows. Very just gonna take away the cane from Goon. I'm 
must not fall. And it looks like Park will be banning the Leona from uh, Maxi Boo. And Mary is going to actually take away the Warwick from Goon, really trying to limit his champion pool. Now, what will Park ban next? I mean, will they target another support? Will they target the mid lane? And they are going to be taking away the Nautilus, so they are trying to limit uh, Maxi's champion pool. I would expect Mary to go ahead and select her support. Uh, and it's going to be a Yumi. Oh, man. And here's the other thing. Ari hasn't been banned in the mid lane. So if Yuki wants to take Ari, she might do that depending on what uh, Park decides to go with in the mid lane. And they're going to go with the Sejuani in the jungle. So now let's see what that mid lane is going to be. We've got a few seconds for that last pick. And oh, okay, that is a Karma mid and Braum support. All right, great job with the flex pick there. So now Mary knows they're going to be playing Car against Karma in the mid lane. So what does Muki want to play into that? And she's going to go with the Echo. Okay, I know she's been playing some Echo in the... Uh, in that lane. So this is going to be an interesting matchup. I mean, look at this. We got Relic on Hecarim. We got Maxi on Yumi. We got Yuki on Echo. Like, this should be fun. Now, with the composition that uh, Park is going with, it's a pretty decent comp. You have three frontliners with Nar, Sejuani, and Braum. Really good frontliner with the Braum, so we're going to try to protect uh, Devil King as much as possible. And even with Karma, like, like Karma can be good in the mid lane, but I think the problem that Park may have is they don't have as much damage output. So it's really going to be up to Devil King to really pour out that damage uh, to be able to take down Marietta. Now Marietta's main frontliner is going to be Orm, but Hecarim can dash into the back line and try to CC the, the Zaya. So if Marietta is able to keep Zaya in check, like they're able to keep uh, Devil King in check in game one, then Marietta should be able to uh, secure this. All right, so we still got a few minutes to wait until the next game. So just as a reminder, I don't have a calendar up, but the next match that Mary to have will be our Overwatch team playing against Muskingum University on Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, they'll be it'll be part of the Concordia St. Paul uh, Overwatch tournament finals. Actually, I need to double check. Is that a best of five or is that best of seven? I almost forgot to mention. I should probably let them know. So what is the... the I'll have to take a look at it after the broadcast because I can't remember if it's going to be a best of five or a best of seven, but I'll let the team know. Uh, we are working on some streaming arrangements, so Concordia St. Paul is planning on streaming that match. So we might not be streaming it ourselves, but um, if that is the case, we will get the link out uh, to our social media about where you can watch the finals. 
So right now, while we're waiting for this game to start up, this would be a great time to hit that follow button. So you can go to twitter.com slash Marietta Esports. You can go to facebook.com slash Marietta Esports. You can go to instagram.com slash Marietta Esports and hit those like and follow buttons. That way, when any news comes out about schedules or updates or opponent information, all that is going to be available on our social media. You can also check out our previous broadcast on our YouTube channel, bit.ly slash Marietta Esports. So you can hit that subscribe button to be able to watch almost all of them. You can also watch them on our Twitch channel, but you do have to be a Twitch subscriber if you want to uh, be able to check those out. Now, there is this thing called Prime Gaming. So if you have Amazon Prime, you can get Prime Gaming for free. All you got to do is create a free Twitch account, link it to your Amazon Prime account, and you got a free sub that you can use for any Twitch channel you want, including us. And if you do hit that sub button, that means you get access to our VODs immediately. So you don't have to wait until next week to check out this match, for instance. You can also get access, use our custom uh, emotes courtesy of our communication brand management department. You see uh, a couple of the different emotes uh, available on your screen. They may look familiar with some of the uh, known uh, emotes out there. But uh, we do have that. So... Uh, your support is greatly appreciated. And then also, as a reminder, while we are getting things uh, loaded up, we are always looking for players for our eSports program. So uh, if you're a high school senior, we still have a couple scholarships available. So that means you would need to go try out for it. So you can go to uh, bit.ly slash mcrecruit to express interest, marietta.edu slash apply to apply for admission, and then also bit.ly slash tryout to schedule your tryout. But okay, we are getting things uh, underway here, so let me get the UI and the audio and all that set up. And let's get this game going, folks. Game two, Marietta College versus Park University. Marietta's on the red side this time, and it looks like Park may be trying to do a possible invade. We are going to see that invade, folks. 30 seconds until minions spawn. But it looks like Park is a little split in which direction they want to go. And we're seeing that Relic is moving forward a little bit. Doesn't see anything. So I think Marietta is anticipating the invade, so they are going to put some wards down to see if there is an invade going on. Minions have spawned. I thought I took care of the chat, but I guess not. There we go. But yeah, great situa situational awareness by Marietta to predict the invade and actually stop it. Yeah, it looks like everyone will be starting on their red side. And this is a good call by Brimstone as well, too. Uh, Try to delay when coming in. That way, Park doesn't really know where Relic has started. See a little bit of engagement going on in the, the top lane. One getting a little damage, but that means there's not a whole lot going on at this point. Junglers are still trying to uh, get their camps. Relic has a small lead. I think he's hit by one camp. Well, Nar is getting pretty low. Does have a potion, but uh, Lyco does have a couple charges and a biscuit ready. And we may see an early game contempt by Goon. Marietta does not have the wards. And here we go. They are going to try to go for the take. 
And Braum does flash in, but Brimstone's gonna flash out, uses the grenades to keep him in place. So it's just a flash for flash trade. Speaking of flashes, uh, Xerix has to pop flash in the top lane. Feel like we're getting a good amount of damage onto the Gnar. And meanwhile, we're seeing Rayla trying to get and engage onto Park, but he is going to be driven away. Yeah, Relic was looking for that early kill. Does not find the bot lane, but he may be looking for it in the top lane. But Xerix is going to be backing away, so it's going to deny Relic that opportunity, but he'll take the Scuttle Crab at least. Alright, not a whole lot's going on, but we do see some uh, damage going on in the, the bot lane. Brimstone's actually getting pretty low, he's got to be careful. Teleport is coming in, and Lyco's teleported in, and so is Muki. Everyone's teleporting in! Lyco's very low on health, first blood will go to Park. Although, we see Muki is going to get a kill onto the Brom, but Rail's going to come from behind, here he comes! Getting some damage onto Macarena, so that's two kills for Marietta. Looking for more. Double kill for Ekarim. And now they're going to try to catch Devil King. Gets the exhaust. And Brimstone will get the kill. So that is a four for one in favor of Marietta. So everyone pressed teleport. And it went very well in Marietta's favor. This is exactly what you want to see if you're a Pioneer fan. If you're a pirate fan, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was about to say like a couple seconds ago, not a whole lot was going on in this game, but now six minutes in, Marietta is already up by like 1400 gold because of all those kills. Of course, Marietta's backing out and buying stuff. Infernal Drake is up. see some pings going on in the, the bot lane. We might have saw a possible game that the ward is going to uh, catch Ark, but they're going to start up the Infernal Drake. I think Marietta is questioning it, but there's not really much they can do about it. Raylink is up in the top lane working on his crubs, so I think it's going to be a free Infernal Drake for Ark. Taking some damage, trying to use the grenades to get some damage onto the Braum. And Max has got to be careful. She does get stunned by the feathers and ends up going down. But here comes Rayleigh, does have his ulti ready. Feathers do fly, pops the ulti, gets the Fearow. Great awareness by Rayleigh to pop the ulti after uh, Zaya's ulti goes up. 
Rama's gonna be popping the shield, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. The big rocket uh, from Brimstone will take down, so that is gonna be two more kills in Marietta's favor. Meanwhile, Lycos is gonna continue to put some damage onto the Nar, knowing that Meganar is about to pop, so he's gonna have to respect the Meganar. Meganar's gonna try to come in, gets the sun off. We see the Orn ult, he's gonna be going off. And a great counter ult by Nar to stop that, but very low in health. Taking signature minions now down the mega the, the mini Nar. And Or will continue to chase. And will leap away. So unfortunately, Orn is gonna be denied the kill. They are continuing to look though for the uh for the Nar, but it's like Nar will survive. But yeah, that was just a great counterplay uh, by Nar using his ulti to deny Orin from being able to pull off his ulti. And here comes Raelic again. And they're charging in. We see the flash coming out from Zaya. Still going to get caught. Exhaust is going to be coming out. And there's the big love rocket from Brimstone taking down Devil King from downtown. Raelic's like, I did all the work and Brimstone took the kill. But that's okay. It is still a kill. training going on in the, the top lane and Hecker is going to get the ulti off onto Nakarina who will end up falling and meanwhile we see the gank contempt in the top lane but Orin is able to flash away and it looks like Maxi did uh, disconnect during that so I'm going to just check to make sure everything is okay A summoner has reconnected.
Okay. Uh, just a quick update. So we will be getting started up in a, just a few minutes. Uh, so what happened was uh, the computer that Maxi was on, it was doing that weird, like, automatically alt-tabbing her. So it was just going back to the desktop for some reason. So we uh, changed the video settings to borderless. Uh, and we restarted her computer just to make sure uh, everything is working correctly. And so we'll just cross our fingers and hope that uh, it addresses the problem. So uh, we should be getting the game underway very soon. Just bear with us for a couple minutes as we're uh, trying to get all that uh, situated, getting her logged back in. And a summoner has disconnected. Yeah, there we see it. The uh, from the the disconnect to restart the yeah, so restarting the client, gonna get him back in. So just probably in a few more minutes, we should be uh, underway here. Meanwhile, while we are waiting for that, we'll just take a look at how things are going in the game. So right now we're about twelve minutes in. Marietta is up by just a little over three thousand gold, uh, and that's just from some. Really good plays in the in the bot lane in the middle in the mid, uh, just getting that uh, kill from uh, the Ekram ulti not too long ago. Now we do see Cloud Drake is up in just a matter of seconds. Uh, Park has the uh, river pretty well warded over by there, but we'll see if Mariana is going to be able to get things set up and try to get to the the Cloud Drake in time, since uh, Park did get the first Drake. Marion definitely wants to try to at least get a, a Dragon Soul buff, but otherwise that may give Park a chance to get back into the game. Has all right the maxi has reconnected so we're almost back folks just hang on just a little bit longer we should be getting this game underway very soon I think everyone is good. I think. There we go. The game has started back up. You see Park heading over to the Dragon Pit, and Relic is aware of it, but actually Park will retreat knowing that the Hecarim is there. Yuki is coming by, and here comes Brimstone and Maxi, and we're seeing some trading off in the mid lane in the red jungle, but Yuki's got to be careful. She does back away knowing that Sejuani is not too far behind. Relic is trying to get some vision set up over by Cloud Drake, but inadvertently starts it up, but I don't think he's too worried about it. And Park's like, he's there by himself. Let's get the engagement. But there's the nice grenades uh, by Brimstone. So now, going to get stunned up. But here comes the Orn ulti in from behind. Marion does secure the Cloud Drake. And they're going to go straight in. The Yumi ulti is going to come out. And 
Yeah, Rayleigh gets the kill, so there's two already down for Park. Brimstone's gonna take down the Sejuani, and Marion is looking for more. The ulti comes out for Rayleigh, gets the double kill and the triple kill. Gonna try to go for the Quadra. And does secure the Quadra kill for Marietta. So a Cloud Drake Quadra kill ace for the Pioneers. And that is a disaster for Park, but it is everything that Marietta wanted with that. Marietta basically pressed R and they won that fight. I see Brimstone's gonna be working and trying to get some more turret plating. Does get at least one more before it all falls. And Marietta should be able to secure that first turret as well. So now they are ahead by. Okay, I gotta do my math here correctly. 5,000, the 5,500 gold. And we're not even at 14 and a half minutes in this game. So a huge lead by the Pioneers. Now anything can still happen, but they just have to make sure they don't make mistakes. They gotta watch their positioning. If they get caught, they can get punished. But so far they're holding very well. Relic is looking to get another gank into the bot lane. He's going to get stunned and knocked up. And the shutdown will go to Devil King. Pops the heal. Brimstone's going to get... Uh, I'm sorry, that's not Brimstone. That's Muki. Brimstone's in the mid lane. What am I thinking? Yeah, Relic got my god. Just a little greedy and gets punished. Sejuani moves in, but not going to really get a whole lot. You know, Lyco's trading with Meganar, which is now Mininar. The Orn ulti is going to be coming in. Does catch Nar, but will be able to leap away. So that might have been a wasted ulti from Orn. You know, we do see a lot from Park grouping up in the mid lane. They maybe want to try to get that jump onto Brimstone. Here comes the Sejuani ultimate, and it does catch Brimstone. Ends up flashing away and will survive. Pops the rocket and almost takes down Macarena. But yeah, great job by Brimstone to be able to flash away. And of course, Max is there to help with getting some heals off to keep him alive. Do see some pings going by Park. They may be trying to catch Relic again. But he at least just control vision. And gonna try to get the jump onto. Nar flashes away, and Lyco will get the kill. Well, the rest of the Pioneers are starting to collapse onto Park. They are rotating around. Mary does secure the turret. I think Park is looking to get the jump onto Marietta, but Relic's aware of it. Teleport's going to be coming in. Lyco's going to get very low in health, and the rest of Marietta is going to try to pounce it, but Lyco is going to go down. Yuki's gonna be jumping in with the ulti, uses, well, jumps in and ulti's away. So it is a, a kill for Park. And Braum gets trying to get to engage onto Marietta. That blast count did not go in the direction he wanted. And he's gonna go going down. That's gonna allow Marietta to try to jump in. The Yumi ult's gonna be coming in as well as Relic's ult to catch two. Ocarina's gonna get stunned. And Muki there with a double kill. So what turned into a 1 for 0 in favor of Park turned into a 4 for 1 in favor of Marietta. And it came down to this Blast Cone hitting uh, Braum in the wrong direction. Now as Marietta has expanded her lead and the Ocean Drake is up and they're going to go straight for it. 
knowing that Park just respawned. So very quick and easy Drake for Marietta. So now they are up by almost 8,000 gold, 18 and a half minutes into this game. That is an insane gold lead, folks. So can Marietta expand her lead further? They have three towers down. So it's just a matter of can they keep pushing? I'm sure they can. It looks like Park's going to be rotating the bot lane, looking to try to catch uh, Orn, but they're not going to find the opportunity they were looking for, so they're going to rotate around. I mean, Park is trying to find picks. So they're, they're doing the right thing. They're trying to get the, the picks they need to get back in the game. But right now, Marietta is doing very well with wards, so it's really hard for Park to get those picks. And Marietta is going to try to secure the Rift Herald before Baron comes up, and they will take that while most of Park was trying to get the jump onto Lyco. at the 20 minute mark and Marietta is up by a very sizable lead almost 8,000 gold that's insane at 20 minutes and Relic is going a little bit they charge a little bit too much but the grenades are there to help out Trying to clear up some vision. But is Nar looking to get the jump onto Marietta? But no, he gets uh he gets spotted out and will back away. And Marietta is starting off the Baron. This is very gutsy. But right now, Ark is not aware of it. So this is gonna be a free Baron for Marietta. Now it's a matter of can they push, use this Baron buff to push their lead even further. So now we're almost a 9,000 gold lead. Almost. to push the, the mid lane. Barely can, when uh, Lyco are in the mid lane. Most of the team is actually in the mid lane. They're going to try to push as much as they can. Meanwhile, Yuki will split push in the bottom lane. But all the park is in the mid lane. They are trying to defend this inner tower. They're just trying to continue to push these things further. And they now have a... I was going to say, the turret does go down. So, I think I can say it now. It's over 9,000! I've been waiting to say that. Alright, we see the Rift Herald getting summoned. And Raylix is coming from behind to try to get the jump. The, Yu the Yumi all is going to catch one. Feathers are going to fly. But two are already down for Park as well as the tower. The Hecarim all is coming in. It's going to catch the Gnar. So all is left of Macarena and Devil King. Macarena does go down. Insta with the triple kill. Marietta will fall back and take down the inhibitor. 
and the inhibitor turret. And are they going to continue the push? They still have the Baron buff. They're going to try to close out this game. Trying to catch Devil King. Going to get aced by Brimstone. So an unofficial quadra for Brimstone. One Nexus Tower falls. The second Nexus Tower falls. The Brom ult's going to be coming out. But I don't think it's going to be enough. Park is trying to stay alive. Goon's going to go, end up going down. And with that, the Nexus has fallen. And Marietta will secure the match 2-0. to zero. Oh my goodness there. It just kind of looked like things slowed down a little bit. You got this, you got this. And all of a sudden, went, oh my goodness, and Marietta was able to win. And part of it was, I mean, they had such a huge gold lead. By the time they had the Baron buff, they were almost 9,000 gold ahead. And then they were able to just kind of spiral that. Uh, getting the inhibitor down and getting those four kills allowed them to be able to continue pushing with their Baron buff to get the Nexus Towers and finally the Nexus. So Marianne was able to secure that. 23 minutes, 53 seconds, uh, 47.1 thousand, 47.1k gold versus 33.1k gold. Relic finishes the game 9-1-16. Brimstone finishes at 9-0-11. And Yuki had a pretty good game too, finishing at 7-0-8. Maxibu, no kills, one death, but 18 assists. And even Lyco finished at 1, 3, and 11. So great setup there by the Pioneers. But yeah, so congratulations to Marietta College on their win against Park University. They will move on to the Teemo Cup semifinals. So they are guaranteed riot points. Uh, so basically now we'll just have to see who they play next week. Uh, there may be some slight scheduling issues, so we'll, we'll try to... See if we can get all that straightened out. Uh, but for all the latest updates with what's going on with Marriott and College Esports, please be sure to follow us at Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all at Marietta Esports. So thank you all for watching, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day.